So, the point of this video is that our Wind Trace event came back, aka the Hide and Seek event. I absolutely love this event, and I'm going to show you how I dominate those random people here, okay? Alright, so we talked to an NPC named Gigax. Do you read his name differently? Let me know in the comment section. You know, when this mode first came out, Mona was like a cheat code. If you keep your sprint state, then you just go under the surface. It's really hard for the hunters to see you. So, let's see. I have to get 1200 wind trace coins. Probably like 3 or 4 rounds. Can I be a hunter? No! I am the rebel! That is fine. That, that is fine. Uh, you could be using the concealing beacon or transparency is pretty OP. I like that. It used to be really hard, but now the map is smaller. So it's easier for the hunter to catch you. The best thing you can do is probably climb the higher ground and just kind of watch the hunter go at you. How do I climb this? I forgot. I forgot how I climbed this. Oh. This is one thing you can do. Just stay here and watch what they do. And then as they come closer to you, you can like go over the, the roof like this. <laughs> she has no idea. Oh no. What is that skill thing? So you can see that she kind of checked that place out, right? Ooh. Okay. Okay, so one thing you can probably do strategically is that she checked that place out. So you could be moving over there. And then at the last minute, they're gonna give you like a little ulti thingy so that you can use the specials. So one of the rebel has to sacrifice himself. I'm not so sure if that's gonna be me or not, but the other two rebels are doing really well. One minute and 40 seconds left. All right, there's the energy thing. <laughs> She's getting that. All right. Oh, hell no! Stop right there, criminal scum! Okay. He's caught. 50 seconds left. She now forgot where she saw the light pillars. <laughs> Alright, this is our dub. Oh no. Oh no. 10 seconds. Hello. Ah, oh, GG. Nice. One without using disguise. Hell yeah. 610. So if you win big, you only have to play this twice per day. I wish I can be the hunter. It's good to know where people would be hiding, right? So first, you gotta check the high ground. And then after that, you just gotta use your skills accordingly and try to estimate things. All right, one more. One more big win, then we are done with this event. I hope I can just play this twice. All right, give me the hunter. Yes. All right. So Hunter has three skills. This is probably new. I would say this is also good, but I don't know the cool time for this. So I would say Mysterious Hunch is a lot better. Like when it's a big map, I think it'll be better. And then Insight, Imprisoning Curse. That will be a guaranteed kill. Okay, Imprisoning Curse and Mysterious Hunch. I'm ready. Let's go, everyone. Okay, we first need to... Oh shit! Come here. Okay, I see somebody. Okay, got one. Easy, right? That looks sussy. <laughs> you know, they're all dead. There's only one left, so I can just literally just wait and get the energy. <laughs> They're here. Oh, I see somebody moving. Hello? <laughs> Alright, it's very easy to win as a hunter. Oh my god, 894 coins. That's it. I don't need to play anymore. Yeah, that's how you basically play it. Just use your brain, see what they're gonna be doing, right? So they would always want to climb high. But yeah. 
It's a lot of fun when you play with your friends, especially when you like make a small bet. Don't bet big. Don't do something like, oh, you know, if you get caught, you pay $100 kind of shit. That's too toxic. You can probably say, oh, maybe how about a lunch? Anyways, that's how you play hide and seek event professionally. Let me know what you think about it. And let me also know what your favorite map is in this event. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.